Just in case it sounds like quails. Just in case it sounds like the voice of the flesh. The Spirit talks to those that pass over. That's where the Spirit, is. that's when the Spirit is speaking. And then he says, oh, look at this one. I will give you some of the hidden manna to eat. Oh, are you ready for this? Six days you have to go to the fields, children of Israel, and collect the manna from the fields. And you, if you collect more of it, what will happen the next day? It will perish. It will stink, right? But if you do it on the Friday, a double portion on the Friday, what will happen on the Sabbath? It will be nice and fresh still. Where is this hidden manna, friends? Where was this hidden manna hidden on the Sabbath day? Okay, is, is somebody saw that one? <laughs> Raise your hands. Who is the manna? Who is the living bread? Jesus. Where was Jesus hidden on that Sabbath day? Buried on the grave. So if you pass over and you are buried with him, you will get the hidden manna. You will be buried with Christ in God, with him. He has, did he perish on that day? Did his body started being consumed and worms came out of him? On that Sabbath day. No, it was perfectly preserved on that Sabbath day. The hidden manna is waiting for us, for us to cross over, to pass over, to pick up our cross and follow Jesus and eat his body and drink his blood. That's where he is waiting. He's waiting for us in this Sabbath day in that tomb and say, My friends, I got white stones to cover you. Thank you very much. You know what white stone is that? Wasn't a, a big rock stone placed on the tomb? The tomb actually had a rock on there. And the, the, the Lord Jesus is saying, hey, hey, yes, yes, pass over. I'll put you in white, righteousness of the saints, and I'll make sure that I'll put a stone over it and I seal it with my name and a new name for you. He is keeping us and inviting us to eat of that manna in that tomb so we can be resurrected with Him, being led by the Spirit and heading to Canaan. That's what He's waiting for. 1221, I'm going to, to show you the, first, the, the last verse. And it's found in Ezekiel, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Last verse. We are only four minutes to go. Book of Ecclesiastes. The way I'm going to read this verse, you, uh, I don't think many of you have read it before. We use this for Bible studies in, in, the, in terms of the state of the dead. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 5. The living know that they will die. That's the only hope that they have. Those that are still relying on their flesh, the only thing that they know is that they will die. But the dead know nothing. And they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Do you know that the Lord is actually meaning us to have that experience? How many of us know everything? If we know everything, it's because we are still living, we're not dead. Because when we are buried with Christ, when we are dead with Christ, we know nothing. In me, there is not knowledge. In me, there is not goodness. In me, there is nothing that really should be exalted. I know nothing. And then he says, also their love for things is dead. Their hatred also is dead. And their envy also perishes. That's exactly right. 
If we are buried with Jesus, if we pass over and the dead is left behind, how many of the Egyptians perished? All of the Egyptians perished. All the old life perished. And now I've got no love, I've got no hatred. Everything comes from God. Nothing comes from me. There's no good in me. And he says, Nevermore will they have a share in anything done under the sun. Do you know why not? Because then we become citizens or be born from above, not from under, from, but from above. Look what he says in verse 7, friends. Go, eat, what? Your bread with joy and drink your wine with a merry heart for God has already accepted your works. And what are, the, what are all our works, friends? But just to do the will of God. Just to walk and pass over and walk where He walked and suffer as He suffered, knowing that we know nothing. He owns all the wisdom. So friends, I hope that we are able to eat of that bread today. There is a hidden manna today on this Sabbath day in a tomb. The Lord Jesus Christ showed us that day how to keep the Sabbath. Do you know that? The Lord Jesus showed us that Sabbath in the tomb how to keep it hidden with Him in God. No, don't let the flesh feed you. It's rotten and eventually it will kill you. And it will kill you through your mouth because we will be judged by our words also. Let the Spirit of God feed you. I want to invite you to um, kneel down with me in prayer as we conclude and after that we'll, we'll have the last hymn. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, the message of the manna, the fact that we have to eat your flesh, Lord, and drink your blood, unless we do it, or if we fail to do it, Lord, we won't enter into the kingdom of heaven. This is serious business, Lord. We need to understand this. We cannot go on and on just wondering what is this and be left with hunger and thirst. Lord, let, a, let us be counted, Lord, among those that are thirsty and hunger for righteousness. And let us understand, understand, Lord, that there is no other way. There is no our way, Lord. We cannot rewrite the gospel, Father. You have written the gospel for us and the steps to follow. The whole script is done for us, Lord. You have shown us how to do it. Lord, there was, has been two Passovers. You have come to our lives and you have given us salvation. And you have, tell, you have, you have, telling us, you have told us, Lord, also to leave Egypt. But now, Lord, as we are encountering the waters, we need to be reminded again that there is a second Passover. As we're passing over the waters of dying, of self-exaltation, of hatred, of envy, covetousness, and all the life is left behind, Father. So much so for the Left Behind series. Lord, this is what we want to be left behind. Lord, we want to leave the, the flesh behind. Lord, on the physical and the spiritual, we want the manna from heaven, the food of angels, Father. Bless this congregation, Lord, as we are contemplating and meditating today on this Sabbath day and eating from that hidden manna. We pray in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen.